Alright, yo what is up everybody? Today, I will be showing you guys how to update your RGH to the latest firmware that it's been recently released. Um, it was released yesterday, so what today I am going to show you is how to update your firmware for your RGH. So basically, I am going to go to my neighborhood. This is how you do it. So first off, is you need to go and I'll leave a link to download to everything that you need to um, update it. So basically, you have to go to your HDD and Homebrew, and then you should have a folder here called Simple 369 Flasher. So go to here, and then you you won't have this, but I do because I've already done it. So my console is not updated I uh, will start recording my console right now and show you so as you can see I'm on my Xbox and uh, let me show you my system info console settings and as you can see it says dash fit 17511 not updated just yet um, but I will show you how to do so back to the computer so all you got to do is just load up just double tap this and this will pop up on your screen on your console and um, all you got to do is just press X and it will just dump your NAND to the exact same folder as your three simple 360 NAND flasher. That's the first step. Now we just need to wait till it gets to 100%. Okay, so now as you can see, it says NAND dumped. I completed, I uh, press any the button to exit, so I just press A. So now if we go ahead back to the computer, and if I click this, there you go. You should have this. Why do I have that there? Sorry. And I'll I'll just put it into this folder. I, I just do, okay? So all you gotta do, I'll leave a link to this. So all you gotta do now, just drag this, put it into this folder. It's because my desktop is kinda untidy and I just didn't have time to uh, clean it up. So, yeah, that's why I'm putting it into these folders. Now we're just waiting for it to transfer over. It would have been quicker if I used my Ethernet. Derp. There we go. So, as you can see, it's passed over. Now, all you gotta do is just open up your Exit Build GUI 2.0. And here it is. So first off, what you're gonna do now, it will show. Um, all you gotta do, just click open. Here. Okay, so once you're on the folder, which where your flash DMP file is, dot bin, just go to there. So mine's in here. I'll double click this. And it should automatically load everything about your console, everything. And it should say at the bottom here where it says, they're all ticked, but there's only one thing. It says CPU key. What I've got is mine is right here. Oh shit, I deleted it, didn't I? Oops. Um, oh, it's actually right here. So I'll just drag this in since I've already done it myself. But if you don't know how to grab your CPU key, um, I will show you on the console. So basically, I'm on my Xbox now. And all you got to do is go to XCX menu. And then go down to dash launch right here and click on there. And now press RB twice till it gets to here where it says system info. And it should be this third one uh, on your left. It says CPU key. That's it right there. All you gotta do is just go ahead and copy it and put it in. But I've already got it. So it's the same right here. And also it should work. So now just make sure the kernel version should be on the latest one and then click on check KV and it should check it and it should all be there if it does work all this info will appear so now let's just go ahead and exit a uh, dash launch real quick sorry about that okay so now all you gotta do now is just generate hacked image and it should output it so just give it a second. 
Okay, there you go. So now you gotta just say just say yes to that and the update file which is right here. This is update dot flash um, update up d flash basically. And all you gotta do now is so now you have your update uh, up up d flash dot bin and all you gotta do now is basically refresh your folder back on here and then just drag this file over which is the update one and not your flash because if you drag over your flash it's just not going to work so we're just going to put that into there and say yes because I hit it twice but okay So once it does work, and there you go. So now we're over on the PC, and I by accidentally deleted the file on accident. So I transferred over the file um, over there very quickly with my USB, and as you can see, it's there. Now go on to your dash launch, uh, your NAND flasher, and now what it has detected. And as you can see, as it says my current dashboard right there, but if you want to uh, put it over, you press A. So it will write it and it'd be done. So go press A right now. And then it says press start to flash your NAND and press anything else to exit. So what you gotta do on this page is press A and then press start and it says warning do not touch your console or your controller during this process so put your controller down like I did and it will automatically power it off but as you can see it's uh, writing the NAND and everything it'd be flashing it over everything's done um, wait till it gets to 100% but some consoles will take a little bit longer than mine um, so and also your console will automatically reboot and there it goes it's it off and it's back on again so it will just reboot itself after the the NAND being done stuff and there you go your console's rebooting um, so you just uh, wait till it goes through the boot logo which it's doing just now so now after once you turn your console back on and it should load up which it has done. I just loaded it back up just now without the hard drive on. I don't know why, but because it wasn't booting. So now, as you can see, if I go to my system info, it says 17526. Now, that's the latest update, but if you can see, if I get into a profile real quick, well, it should show a gray character. Okay, so once you got a gray character, um, all you gotta do is just go down to here where it says uh, the USB right here and this will come up with the it will install the, f the update but since we already updated our dash it won't update the dash with this it would only update the necessary files other things it's missing that's all it's gonna do so click here and it'll download and uh, which I have already done and all you gotta do is just put this onto your root of the your USB, which I will do now. All you gotta do is just put this on the root of your USB. But if it doesn't detect the um, the update with this folder, all you gotta do is just change the S to another dollar sign. All right, as you can see now, once it's done, and if you had a big problem where your console kept rebooting, all you gotta do is basically, if your console kept rebooting. Um, after once you have written your NAND and stuff, um, right after once you put this in, um, after the console and then it reboots, um, if it keeps doing it and it does loop, all you gotta do is have your USB, go ahead and put all these plugins, if you're on a specific style server you have to go and re-download the files, and then just put your launch.ini, everything on, and make sure your launch.ini has this. And also, I need to get my uh, where is it? My fake anim, because this is it right here. Um, just put this in blank, 
save it and then go on put it into your USB um, the root of the USB and then all you gotta do load up your console pl well plug it in first put it up uh, boot up your console and it should load once after it's loaded all you gotta do now is basically um, put these new ones on to your root of your HDD and say yes to all because it's not going to use the old ones because they're not working until uh, for this new dash and now I'm just going to minimize this and take out the USB and reboot my console I'll go reboot my console just now okay so now I've rebooted my console and as you can see it's rebooted and now you should be able to see your characters grey so my character is grey right now as you can see there and all you gotta do is go ahead go to the internet go type in xbox.com I'll actually leave a link to this um, to in the description go ahead and click this and download the update once you have go to your USB um, as you can see it's done that and now all I gotta do well I'll show you that I am on my latest firmware uh, there you go dash 17.5.26 now I'm going to reboot the going to power off my capture card stop the recording and put it onto my USB and show you okay so now as you can see um, I will delete this one because I've already done it okay so drag this in and if your console doesn't necrotize the folder in the update and stuff everything else if it doesn't necrotize it then all you gotta do is just rename the folder to dollar dollar system well I'll show you um, after once this is all done so I'll be back I'll speed on the video Okay, so as you can see, it's been pushed over and it's done. But um, what I'm going to do, and if it does show um, the update, and I can't record my console because I'm using my USB. So plug in your USB to your Xbox and give it uh, five seconds, and it should pop up with a notification and it should say updating. Should do. And if it doesn't show, it's probably because you have to rename the folder. Looks like it to me that it uh, hasn't necrotized it, so I'm going to change the take out my USB. It didn't necrotize it, and if it doesn't, all you got to do is do this. Just take away that S, and then put a dollar sign there, and then press enter. But if it does, you're fine. You don't need to watch this part just keep watching um, so you can't so you don't skip anything because it's it's quite important so and if it doesn't do it just plug it back in and give it five seconds there you go so as you can see well I know you can't see I'm sorry but it's because I have my USB plugged in I can't record but you should see a message saying update required to proceed security and everything I know it's it's not going to actually update the system firmware it's going to update the um, avatars everything else so just click yes and it should update and there you go so once it's updating um, you should be fine there you go so it sh should reboot and power it back on and you're done and you should be back to uh, and you should be on the latest firmware done and you can just go back onto your server sign in and get online and it wouldn't ask you for another update because it's already done and as you can see well you can't so I'm just going to take out the USB now and so now as you can see 
My characters are green, well, colored and not gray. Go back to my console settings, system info, latest dash, and all you gotta do now is go to my games, XX menu, and go ahead and put on your style server because I disabled mine and to load in my .ini, which you should have done. Which I already said in a video, so go to dash launch, go to here, and go to plugins. As you can see, it says nothing. And I'm gonna go to XP Online. There it is. And then close it and reboot your console. So what I'm going to go to do is go to here and then click reboot and called reboot. I know you can't see the screen yet. So it pops back up. Okay, so now it's loading. And it shouldn't have my boot logo, it should just go straight through. There we go, there we go, server updated. And now you're on the latest dash and you can see it's working because it showed the message. It says time expired and there you go. That's how you update your RGH to the latest um, dash and go to your console settings just to show you. 17.5.26 on the self server complete. That's how you do the, how do you, that's how to update your dash to this to, to now. So I hope you guys enjoyed, smack a like, if this, if this helped, leave a like, and if it didn't, please contact me, join my discord, and I'll uh, walk you through each and single step. So thank you for watching, I know it's a long video, it's supposed to be because it's quite a lot of things to do in one video. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace.